Hey there and welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday so that means it is a meal prep time. I like to meal prep mine and John's meals throughout the week. So they're ready to go and I don't have to think about what to eat either. Um, I feel like this really just saves time throughout the week as well as allows you to make healthier choices. So here we go. But it takes me about like two to three hours I would say and I do have things prepped beforehand as well because I do freeze meals throughout the week. Sometimes I cook things in bulk and freeze them as well. So when I do have a Sunday meal prep time, it is a lot easier and faster. As always guys, if you like these types of videos, please give it a big thumbs up. I would be more than happy to make more for you. Maybe we can make it a series of meal prep with me on Sundays. I don't know, it's just a thought. And you guys can subscribe to my channel as well. It's free. And hit the little bell notification to be notified when I upload too. You don't want to miss out. Let's get to prepping. So first thing we're going to do is take out our containers and just place them here. So it makes it easier to put in food when it's ready. I'm using beans here that I already have um, cooked beforehand and froze. This definitely saves a lot of time. And I'm just taking out other frozen food that I have made before just so it can thaw a little bit before I put it into containers. And we'll come back to this later. Then I'm taking these containers that I use for oatmeal and I freeze my oatmeal beforehand too in little cupcake trays. So I put two in each one. And I ran out so I'm just making a fresh batch and then I'm going to freeze these as well. If you guys want an actual recipe on this, I do have a video made on it, so go check that out. And as you can see here, I put them into cupcake trays and pop them in the freezer. So now it's time to cook some veggies. I do steam them and pretty much weekly for us, it is broccoli. Broccoli is our fave in this household. John, my husband, is not a fan of any other vegetable really, so broccoli it is. Once it's cooked and ready, I do place it into the little meal prep containers and I just portion it out. Now I always like to make mushrooms. I have like a thing with mushrooms. I love them so much. And I love to put it on my avocado toast as well as just in my salads. Time to peel some sweet potatoes and I love sweet potato fries. They taste so good so I do use my Breville machine which is a lifesaver, a time saver and I just love it so much. So it does have a french fry cutting option as you can see and then I flavor it with some paprika, um, some everything but the bagel sesame seasoning from Trader Joe's, some salt, some garlic powder, and a little, little tiny bit of oil. I do put it in an air fryer so you don't need much but I still like to use a tiny bit. So now they're ready to pop in the air fryer. Make sure you don't put them in all at once, but once they are ready, just portion them out into your containers once again. I also like to cut up some fresh veggies, so cucumber is one of them because I think it's so great and easy to put into your salad. And I also like to do the same thing with red peppers. I love to put these in my salads as well, but you can also eat them on their own if you like, but it's just ready to go. Here I'm just putting in cooked chicken for John's meal prep. I personally don't eat chicken, but he still does. Now time to cut up some watermelon, my favorite fruit in the entire world. I think it's just so refreshing, juicy, and so sweet. It's just so, so good. So I do cut up a half a watermelon, and then once that's done, I will cut up the other half during the week. Time to prep some oatmeal toppings. I usually do strawberries 
Um, I only cut it up for two days because they don't last very long once you cut them. So you don't want to meal prep it for the whole week. So I do it every two days. I add some blueberries and almond butter and homemade granola as well. And that's it. Here I'm just prepping a cashew cream, a cashew dressing, whatever you want to call it. But it tastes so good on salads as well as just the meal prepped food that I do. It just gives a little bit of extra flavor and sauce. And now remember those things that I took out of the freezer where they were almond cookies, which I do have a video on this. They are so good and addicting, so check that out. As well as energy balls. These like disappear so fast. And then I also took out some butternut squash out of the freezer. So I put these into my meal prep because John's not a fan. And then I put quinoa into each of ours. So that's all it takes, just a couple of hours to make all of this food. I do this weekly and some of the things I have to prep every two days, but it makes life so much easier when you have things ready to eat. All right guys, so here is the finished meal prep. This will be good for us for four days. The only thing that I have to do is oatmeal toppings every two days because strawberries don't last too long after you cut them. And then I fill up the oatmeals too. As you guys saw, I did make a whole batch to freeze again, so that will be easy to do as well. And then juices for two days too. So that's pretty much it. I think it's super awesome to meal prep. I tried to also, you know, chop up things that I can use throughout the week as well. My salads, as you guys saw, the cucumbers and peppers. I mean, the list goes on and on. It does vary every week. So this is what it is for this week. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Maybe you learned something new as well. But I'm off to clean the kitchen now because it is a hot mess my least favorite part after all this. All right, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. Are you excited for all this food? Yeah. Well, guess what? None of it's for you. Mwah. But of course, I always share. Mwah.